Hello girls. Today I am going to explain one more topic in assignment problem. That is maximization assignment problem. In assignment problem, the maximization case. What is the meaning of this? First I will tell you. Sometimes we may have to deal with an assignment problem in which the objective is to be optimized. Optimize the profit. Sometimes we need the assignment problem. We need to deal with the uh, objective to be maximized. Sometimes we have to do like that. The maximizing the profit or maximizing the sales or maximizing the total output of the machines. Something like that. Sometimes we need to do like that. At that time what we have to do? What we have to do? There are two points are there. In, either in the first way or in the second way we can do. What are What is the first way and second way? I will tell you. Uh, how to identify this maximization assignment problem I will tell you before that we know that uh, max z is equal to minus minimization of minus z if uh, we in simplex method also we did like that maximize a max z is equal to minus because by multiplying both sides with minus 1 you will get like this max z is equal to minus minimum of minus z we know this one now to do the problems of maximization assignment problem, there are two ways are there. Either in the first way or in the second way. Either this one you can apply or this method you can apply. What are the two methods? How to identify also I tell you. We multiply all the elements of the given AP of the minus 1. In the given AP, all the elements multiply with minus 1 and after that as usual Hungarian method you have to apply. The complete table, apply the, in the complete table, multiply the complete table with minus 1 and then afterwards as usual Hungarian method. This is one method or another method is in the complete table, high the um, high largest element identify the largest element and uh, subtract uh, each and every element from that largest element. Subtract all the elements of the matrix from the largest element in the matrix. Identify the largest element and from that largest element subtract all elements. You will get one more table. From that table you apply as usual Hungarian method. Again you apply the Hungarian method. These two methods, uh, uh, the, 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 these two methods either in this manner or in this manner you can do. Now before that how to identify how to identify the maximization assignment problem now sometimes only we need to do you can identify how to identify I will tell you after that either in this manner or in this manner we can apply the problem and then we will uh, proceed with the Hungarian method now what how to identify I will tell you by using the first problem in the first problem they have given one uh, solve the assignment problem they have given like this and after that one one or two lines they will give in such a way that what is the optimal assignment which will yield the maximum profit something like that maximum profit or maximum sales or maximum output some word you will get such type of word definitely you will get in the problem itself whenever in the given problem such type of maximum profit or maximum sales or whatever some something like that maximum word if you see you have to think about maximization assignment problem in the problem itself they will ask like this in the such type of word whenever you see you have to apply the maximization assignment problem in the maximization assignment problem how to do one small dif uh, the, how difference is there how to do I told you two methods either in the first manner you can do or in the second manner multiply the whole table with minus one and then apply the Hungarian method or subtract uh, had the, um, subtract uh, all elements from the largest element in the matrix. Uh, after that you apply Hungarian method. There are two methods. Now I am applying, I am applying um, uh, second method. Now here in the complete table, here maximum profit is there. That's why this is a maximization AP assignment problem. Now uh, the largest element in the table is, identify the largest element since 16. 16 is the largest element we subtract all elements from 
16. Since 16 is the largest element in the table, that's why we, we, we subtract all elements from 16. How much we will get? I will write. How much we will get? 16 minus 16, 0. 6, 2, 5, 2, 5, 1, 1, 1, 1, 3, 4, 3, 4, 2, 1. After subtracting all elements from 16, we will get like this box. A, B, C, D. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, from here, as usual, Hungarian method. From here, as usual, Hungarian method. Step 1. What is the step 1? Row reductions. Row reductions. Step 1 is row reduction. Now, row minima. Row minima. Row minimum. Minimum element in the first row is 0. Minimum element in the first row 1. Minimum 1. Minimum 1. Now we will do the row reductions first of all. Now you will get a row reductions. After row reductions you will get. Zero, six, two, five, one, four, zero, 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 three minus one, two, four minus one, three, two, three, one, zero. Second step, we will do column reductions. Column minima. First column, the minimum is 0. Second column, 0. Third, 0. Fourth, 0. Therefore, second step 2. Column reduction. Now, first column 0, second 0, third 0, fourth 0 means as usually, as it easily, we will get the same. 0, 6, 2, 5, 1, 4, 0, 0. 0, 0, 2, 3, 2, 3, 1, 0. Now we will draw the minimum number of lines to cover all zeros. Here, here, 0. And this 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. Verify whether all zeros are covered or not. Now all zeros covered. Uh, therefore, minimum number of lines to cover all zeros. We have to draw the minimum number of lines to cover all zeros in such a way that all zeros must be covered and the lines must be in the minimum is equal to number of rows and columns is equal to 4. Therefore, the solution is the solution is optimal. Optimal. Now, how to write the, um, now we have to draw the boxes. We have to draw the boxes in such a way that there must be only one. First box, therefore I cancel this. Second. Second box here, therefore I cancel this. Third box and fourth box. 1, 2, 3, 4. In, we have to draw the boxes in such a way that there must be only one box in each row or each column. Here only one box I draw. That's why I cancel this 0. Now here in this one I draw one box here. That's why I cancel 0. If you see here only one box. If you see one box, only one in each row or column. In that way only we have to draw. Now 
for a uh, for a rows row this is a column a row first column b third column c second column d d how much fourth column now the amount is in a first column in the given problem in the given problem how much is there 16 a 16 b 3 b 3 15 c 2 15 d 4 15 how much if you total is how much if you add all these things all the values if you add how much you will get 61 61 total is 61 if you add all the values a first column in the given problem how much is there we have to add in the given problem a first column 16 b second column b third column 15 c second column 15 d fourth column 15 if you add all the values are 16 total total is 16 maximum value 16 thank you